Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today we are back with another one of your Kira questions. This question comes from Terry Jones and it says, what would be a good setting for seams with rounded items? So we're going to go ahead, we'll give him a little heart and a like right there. I will respond with a link to this video to you, Terry. Let's jump over to Kira and I happen to have a round object. So let's drag this guy in here. All right, now we'll slice and check our seam settings. Now, ideally, we would be placing our seam on the inside because that would make it less visible from the outside. Now, since this is a cup-shaped model, the inside is still gonna be visible when looking down into the model, but there are ways to place the seam on the inside of the model so it's not visible at all, although it can be a little tricky depending on your model's geometry. First, we're gonna take a look here. Um, I don't need that. I'm gonna increase this. Um, because it'll go a little bit quicker here. Um, and let's scroll down and find don't have the seam setting showing. So let's see, it's in walls. Z seam alignment, Z seam position, the X and Y we're not going to use. That's for manually placing the Z seam. It can be helpful, but not uh, not necessarily easy to do. Z part center, absolute position. So we can check that so it's available. We probably won't be using it though. So we'll close this now. Um, you can see it's got a set position for that. Um, it's basically just a, a, an offset from where it's going to start its code. So that's not necessarily needed. Smart hiding is what we have selected. And this is my usual selection uh, because it will try, as it says, control whether the corners on the model outline influence the position of the seam. None means you have no influence. Exposed seam means the seam is more likely to occur on an outside corner. Hide or exposed means the seam is likely to occur at an inside or outside corner. So there are no corners on this model and that's the main question. So in some cases, uh, and that's why I'll slice a different time, a couple different times here. In some cases, you can get the Z seam to go to the inside of the model, which would be preferable. If, however, that does not work, we are going to randomize the Z seam. And uh, Kira has this handy new visualization they added in one of the latest versions that you can actually see the Z seam. Um, and here it is pretty well split between the inside and the outside. It's not a contiguous seam but it is gonna be very, very visible as a line running through our model. Now, depending on how much post-processing we wanna do, this could be ideal because if we just wanna to have to sand down that one spot, it could work. However, if our layers are as thick as this, odds are if we sand that down, it'll be way smoother than the rest of the model. So these are things to take into consideration as well when placing your seam, but let's go ahead and set the Z seam to random and we'll slice again and we'll see if we can break those little white blobs up small enough uh, in the long run they'll end up looking like tiny zits on the model but that can be beneficial to the post-processing process too depending on how you're planning on doing that um, and there are several other ways to do this it's going to take a minute to slice here so I'm just going to let it go through its motions while it does that uh, we can take a look at another question here by Dapper Dan so he's saying hey by chance of you seeing this, I'm trying to... All right, and here we have it. Let's jump back over to preview mode. You'll see that the seam is very well dispersed throughout the model. Now, depending on your retraction settings and how well they're tuned, this could also be the best way to disperse that seam throughout a round object because if that retraction is on point, you shouldn't notice any blobbing or zitting at the seam anyway. So you could end up with a very, very fine model. Now, does this mean that this is the best setting for a Z-seam on a round object? Obviously not. The biggest thing to consider here is the end use of the item. Now, this particular item is a basically a spacer that goes between the floor and the middle part of the bottom of a table. So it's never going to be seen. I wouldn't be concerned with the Z-seam. However, obviously, it is something that is troubling you. So I recommend testing out all of the settings, to be honest and seeing which one works best for your needs. However, as I said, I would start with random or user specified and smart hiding. Now you can change this to a simply hide the seam and let's try this one time and see if it gives us any better results. Like I said, if we can get more of that seam 
on the interior of the model that means it's doing a better job of hiding it and um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best setting either like I said it's more of a use case scenario where it depends on what you're doing with the object and where exactly you want to hide the seam even if the round object has one hard corner on it in most cases it is your best bet to hide the seam on that outside corner just because the corner is sharp anyway and you can't really see it however if the object is completely round that's not a possibility such in this case so um, again we are letting it slice and I will be right back with the results uh, actually let's just stick around it looks like it's going pretty quick um, we're gonna be getting a preview here in just a second so while I wait I'll remind you again don't forget to subscribe guys I know you guys hate hearing that it gets annoying whatever I need your help you subscribing leaving likes on these videos helps other people find these videos which helps me make money in order to make more of these videos so I can't do this without you guys make sure you subscribe hit that like button and I really appreciate it uh, we're almost done slicing here and I'm curious to see what the end result is I generally have better luck with smart hiding than with hide seam so I don't use it too often but in this case I think it's a uh, 